Xavier is back tonight from the Tommy Carell Memorial Foundation. Get us ready for the Ride to Fight Suicide event this June. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about this event. So it's coming up on June 8th, mm -hmm. and um, which is Saturday, and we leave from Mortimer's Roadhouse, and we do a ride from there to um, Mustangs, and then we end at Rascals, and from 3 till 6 p.m. at Rascals, we'll have live music, fun. raffles, and all sorts of fun having going on. Yeah, it's a great way to, you know, celebrate summer and learn a lot about, you know, the point behind this ride. Right. So tell me a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, so it's a ride to fight suicide. We're trying to bring awareness to um, the suicide in our community. Obviously, we, you know, lose an average of 50 lives per year yeah. to suicide. So we want to bring awareness to that, but also raise money to support those in our community that are struggling to get the help that they need. So all the money that's raised stays local to help awesome. people local. That's so, that's one of my favorite things about getting to know more and more people in this community yeah. is realizing that a lot of these organizations were made obviously to honor people and to you know locally get together but to keep the money local because yep. some of the larger organizations don't quite filter down like you would hope. Absolutely and that's yeah. one of the things we're really proud of is we want to be able to help our community because you know there's so many people that are struggling and they just need that extra help. Absolutely so we are doing Mental Health Awareness Week this week yep. of course May is Mental Health Awareness Month so tell me a little bit about how mental health plays a role in your life. Well, um, losing a son to suicide, I've had my own mental health journey yeah. and I've had to get the support and help I need to be able to live successfully and be in recovery through it. But some days are good days, some days are not so good days. So just being able to know that there's resources out there to help you, that there's a community of people that understand and can support you, it's really helped me on my own mental health journey. Uh -huh. But we want to be there to support others too because we know you can't do it alone. Right. And that's so important. It's, it's so hard to talk about things that aren't fun and happy, but like you have to talk about them to get it out of your own body. That's yeah. like probably step one, huh? We've learned that, you know, being open and honest about our own feelings helps other people be open and honest about those their feelings. And yeah. the only way to really get help and get through it is to talk about it. Yeah. So talking about it is a big part of what we do. It's huge and it's not something that 30 years ago was a thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> very few people were like sitting around talking about their emotions and now you hear it casually, which is great. Yeah, <laughs> and it should be that way. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a event that is through your memorial Memorial Foundation. Yes. Do you have any other events coming up throughout the year? Yeah, actually, um, the end of June, we have our Paddle to Battle Suicide, which is a pickleball fun, fun. event we're going to be doing at Victory. And so that's on June 30th. Okay. It's a Sunday evening. And people who have played or haven't played and want to try, it's a great event for them to come out to cool. and do it as well. And then in the fall, we have our Fight for Life softball tournament mm -hmm. um, that's held in town over um, at Forest Hills Diamonds as well. Okay, so where can we go to get more information on all these events? And, you know, I know there's probably resources to help people out there. Yeah, too. our social media pages or our website, which is just www.tommycarrellmemorialfoundation.com. All right, well, I can remember that one. <laughs> thank you so much yeah, for coming thank you. in. You can see on the screen there the website and other social media uh, places where you can reach out to Xavier. We'll be right back with five-time world boxing champion Mia St. John and her daughter, Paris.